Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, the audience for this discussion is going to be my fellow physicians and residents. The concept of odds ratio and relative risk is very important in clinical research. Um, we can use these parameters um, to evaluate um, or to look at a study um, and assess how likely a certain outcome is. If we take the concept of relative risk, uh, we can evaluate certain exposures uh, and in a clinical context, we can evaluate um, how likely are people to develop a disease if they're exposed to that factor. Um, for example, if people have been exposed to um, asbestos uh, because of the kind of work they did, we take two groups of people, um, people who were exposed to asbestos um, and people who were not exposed to asbestos. And we take um, a five-year limit, uh, five -year time limit um, and then we evaluate how likely are those people to develop a certain outcome like cancer. We compare the rate of um, the development of cancer in both of these groups. Um, the ratio of both of these groups is um, the relative risk. So for example, the relative risk comes out to be two. That in the clinical context would mean that people who were exposed to asbestos are two times as likely um, to develop cancer uh, compared to people who were not exposed. Um, so this sort of number can also be used um, to evaluate certain rare exposures. Um, and we can like follow them prospectively um, and then compute that value uh, and evaluate the effect of that exposure. Taking um, odds ratio now, um, an odds ratio um, is done on case controls um, type of studies. Um, we take cases and we take controls. Um, so the cases are those people who have developed a certain outcome already. For example, they have a certain disease. Uh, let's say um, they already have cancer right now. Uh, we take people with cancer, we take people with, with without cancer, and the rest of the characteristics should be matched. Um, so then we look back retrospectively uh, into their past to see what sorts of exposure had they had. Uh, and if you're looking at a certain exposure, we evaluate um, the incidence of that exposure in the people who have cancer and um, the incidence of or the rate of that um, exposure um, in the past for people who don't have cancer. Um, and then we see the odds. Uh, so the odds ratio will represent how likely are people who have a certain outcome like cancer, how likely have uh, it is that they have been exposed to that um, certain factor like smoking uh, in their past uh, compared to people who don't have cancer. So if the odds ratio comes out to be again two um, for people who have cancer, um, we uh, and we're evaluating the exposure um, factor of smoking in their past, we would say um, that the people who have cancer are twice as likely to have been smokers uh, compared to people who don't have cancer. Um, so this is an odds ratio. The odds ratio is good for clinical studies that want to evaluate um, a rare uh, that want to evaluate a rare disease uh, and see the factors that affect it. Uh, because in this we take um, um, just cases that are already diagnosed with that disease um, and which isn't that common in the general population. The odds ratio is a good approximation uh, of the relative risk um, when the outcome um, is, is a very small number. Uh, so that sums up um, the discussion for odds ratio and relative risk. Thank you.